Hey, this is Andy with Pale Spruce, and this is my review of the J-Pax Snack Pack Seat Bag. Uh, this pack is handmade out of Denver, Colorado, which is really cool considering how much I like locally made products. This one is just a few miles, or it's made just a few miles down the road from me. Uh, it's Joe from J-Pax, he's just a guy just like me, uh, one man operation. He likes to make stuff, and he happens to be good with a sewing machine, so he makes seat packs. I've got this uh, like a gas tank type of a bag. He also does uh, frame bags, custom bags, and he's also working on a handlebar bag. So he can do a full range of bike packing bags for you. But for this seat bag, uh, the, the bottom half is made out of cordura, and a uh, heavy cordura, and then the back side, just kind of this extension section, and I'll show you when I unroll it, is made out of a, a thinner uh, nylon material, but still a heavy material. And you can see, even with a full suspension bike, uh, there's going to be plenty of travel between the tire and, and the top of the bag. And the, the straps, they're not really hanging down to get in the way. And as far as attaching it to the bike, it's just got a really wide Velcro for the seat post. And then it's got two looping, probably can't see it since it's black on black here, but there's two uh, straps with buckles, and they actually do a, a crossing over the, the seat, seat rails. Instead of going around and then coming down the same side, they actually go opposite sides. So it, it pulls the bag uh, sideways to, to tighten it up against the rails, which really helps to, to stiffen it up. Because you can see here, this is fully loaded and it barely moves. Uh, <clears throat> so that's the seat rails. The straps, you can also use those to tighten them up. Pulls the bag up against the seat so it doesn't uh, move around too much. And then on the back here, there's, there's two buckles uh, for the opening, and those also have compression straps that go down to, to tighten, up, uh, tighten up everything that's in the bag. And then also with these back straps, the straps come down and they also make a fork, so you get three areas that are, that are pulling everything tighter. And there's also a little compression strap here on the top if you didn't to put additional stuff, whether it's a, a jacket that was wet, um, whatever kind of gear you wanted. And then on the very back, there's a couple of loops of the daisy chain. Again, you could strap other things on there, or you could even, uh, what I'm planning on doing is, is putting a blinky light back there. So if you're doing any road riding, night riding, um, Sorry, if you're doing any trail riding and you're getting there on the road at night, um, you, you could have a blinky light back there just to have an extra safety precaution. And then up until this point on my seat pack, I had always put my, my stove, my coffee setup, uh, tools, clothing, clothing being the, the biggest part. But what I found with this seat pack, the way that it compresses down with the, the straps and then also the seat rail straps, I actually like it better with my sleeping bag and my whole sleep setup in here. So that's what I've got in there right now. Uh, let, let me show you just, even with all my sleeping bag in there, it's still a really narrow against the, against the saddle. You can see that the seat bag is not much wider than the saddle, especially where the saddle is, and it flares out a little bit at the end. But that's with a tarp, a sleeping bag, and my bivy sack all in there. So it, and there's room for more, actually. So let's look at the, the contents in here. Uh, again, you've just got the two buckles, one on each side. And then this is the section I mentioned earlier that's the... It's a heavy nylon, but it's not quite as heavy as the Cordura in, in the beginning. Both of these are highly water resistant, not necessarily waterproof if you're in a long downpour, but they are water resistant. And then on the back, there is a Velcro that does the opening. So in here for me, I've got my bivy sack. And the biggest piece. going to be my sleeping, it's actually a quilt. Take 
that out. And then the final piece is my tarp. And it's just a Cuban fiber tarp, so it does go down pretty small. But the three of those take up most of the room in the bag. There's still room to, to put a few other items if you wanted to, whether it's uh, you know, a down jacket or um, some extra clothing, rain jacket, rain gear, that would still fit in here. The one thing I don't have from my sleeping setup is my sleeping pad. I have managed to fit that in here with my other sleeping gear. It, it was pretty full at that point, but it still did fit. And then one of the best things about this, and especially getting it from uh, a local maker and then a, a, a small custom maker is my tarp, it comes with a, it comes with a pole, whoops, it comes with a pole to set it up, and the, the base bag that Joe has uh, does not come with a sleeve to hold the pole, but I asked him if he could just put a sleeve on the bottom here, and he, he added that, it was a slightly, a small extra charge, but uh, nothing major, and then it actually just makes a sleeve that, the poles slide in there and then they're not going to move around, they're not going to get rubbed on by other stuff. So it's a nice little addition. Uh, and I had the pole in there and then I also had my tarp stakes. So that's everything out of there. Uh, the other, other thing I forgot to mention before is on the bottom here, it's got a, a plastic, uh, kind of a reinforcement I guess, to, to keep the shape of the bottom so that it doesn't bulge out down towards the tire. But uh, that's, that's the bag and, and everything that's in it. Um, you know, you, you can fit quite a bit of stuff in here. The, the roll top, you just Velcro it, roll it down a couple notches, get it snug. And then once you connect the compression straps, you can even pull it closer. And so, so far, uh, this has been a great bag much better than the homemade stuff that I was using before. And, and Joe was really great to work with, uh, him being local. I actually got to go down, pick it up uh, down by his house and, and just kind of talk with him, talk like packing. And it's just, it's great to have a, a local resource like that, that not only is local, but then also makes high quality gear. So uh, thanks Joe for making such great stuff and uh, just get out there and enjoy the trails.